What up, YouTube? All right, guys. So just wanted to give you a heads up and let you know what's going on with my bike. I uh, haven't done really much videos of riding and things like that lately. I've been doing uh, changing my air filter and my uh, my spark plugs and things like that. Uh, if you've been watching my my videos, you already know I have a K&N air filter and that I also have a Dan Moto exhaust. And which brings me to my next problem. I'm actually having rev issues with the bike. Uh, the other day on the way to work, bike turned off on me. I actually had to pull the throttle all the way back to actually hit the button to start the bike. And uh, it was not fun. Once I was on the highway, I was doing about 50, 60 miles per hour. The bike wanted to stay revved up to about 5,000 RPMs. It would just stay there and then gradually slow down back to uh, 2 pretty much. It wouldn't go any lower than 2, and when it would go lower than 2, it would want to turn off. Uh, my choke right now is uh, pretty much a secondary kill switch. It uh, just turns off the bike. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect my uh, disconnect my lock, my bully lock that I have uh, on the bike. See, there's the bully lock down there. I'm going to go ahead and take that off of the bike here. Okay. So I'll disconnect that. Let me take that off of there. And for those of you wondering about the cord, uh, it's pretty much a reminder cord. That cord is uh, to let me know that I have the lock on and so that I don't turn on the bike and try to drive away with the lock on the bike. So let's go ahead and try to turn on the bike here and let's see how she acts. I haven't tried to turn her on for three days, so let's see how she behaves. Okay, so she started right up. I'm sure we're going to get some rev issues pretty soon. I'm having with my bike right now uh, another thing I wanted to let you know when I'm on the highway once I get to about 50 60 uh, once 50 60 uh, miles per hour the bike runs perfectly five at high fine at high speeds because it is a little rich so it runs with plenty of power but when I go to slow down from the highway the rpms tend to want to stay at about 5,000 and uh, takes a really long time for it to gradually go down so please give me a shout out I know I'm gonna have to rejet but uh, if you know of anything other than that let me know later. Alright, so I just took her for a little ride, and uh, as this video goes on, you'll probably hear how she revs up by herself. And uh, I wanted to show you guys what she's doing now. After I revved her up, I'm going to stay a little bit far away from the bike because she's kind of loud. But after I revved her up while I was on the road, um, as soon as I go to slow down into a parking lot, oh, she turned off on me. Hold on. Let me turn the bike on. Oh, now she doesn't want to turn on. Okay, so now I might have to do what I did last time, which is pull the throttle all the way back. Oh boy, she doesn't want to turn on now. Alright, well I'm going to have to remake this video again later. Let me see what I can do. Alright, so I ended up turning her on by pulling the throttle 
all the way back and turning it on that way. Uh, now, unless she goes one to turn off, let me try to rev her up a little bit more again. She wants to turn off. Okay, you hear that? Yeah. yeah, I'm sure you heard that. All right, there she goes. She's staying on. Let's see if she wants to die. Yeah, she wants to die. All right, I'm gonna have to take her back home, but uh, just wanted to show you guys there. She died on me. Wanted to show you guys uh, the problems I'm having. All right, so I brought her back home and uh, want to see how she acts now after that. After I drove her around for a couple blocks and brought her back home, I'm gonna see how she turns, how she acts. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to turn her on here. Uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so let me show you pretty much what I had to do last time. I had to pull the throttle all the way back. Okay, I don't want to kill my battery. All right, let's try the throttle all the way back again. There you go, you saw that? I actually had to pull the throttle to turn her on. Now, little by little, the rev will start acting up by itself. Right now, you can see she's uh, pretty stable at just about two. I'm telling you, man, she smells like gas like crazy. She is, I mean, it's pure gas out here. I feel like I'm getting high off the fumes. That's how it smells. So I uh, just wanted to give you guys a heads up. She's not acting up. Let's see what happens when I try to rev her a little bit. Okay, she's kind of acting normal. Let's see. Look how long it takes for her to drop down. And I'm sure you guys heard that pop. Let me try it again. That's pretty much all you're going to get for right now. Yeah, that's about all you're going to get right now. And uh, hopefully you guys can give me a shout out. Let me know that it's just a rejet that I need and uh, nothing worse than that. And uh, I'll keep you guys posted on, uh, on how she works after the rejet. So talk to you soon.